Morris Carey coming to you live from the Ames exhibit at the National Hardware Show, Las Vegas, Nevada. And with me is Jeff Koenig. And you don't have Ames on your shirt, Jeff. You have something else. What is that? Razorback. And Razorback is a brand among Ames tools for gardens and landscape, right? That is correct. It is our industrial brand of, of tools. Now, I see all kinds of shovels and rakes and sludge hammers here under the Razorback name. And I also see down the hall, True Temper. And is that also an Ames product? It is. It now, is. What's the difference in the two products? So these are, these are our brands. They're all under the Ames umbrella. We cater to all all people who garden from the novice gardener buying their first home to a professional gardener to a farmer to a construction person anyone that uses a lawn and garden tool we cater to so each of these brands means something to one of those segments now tell me something about the difference between the razorback tool and the true temper tool so each of these brands have a brand promise we wrote a brand promise saying if 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 it's this brand, if it's Razorback, it's gonna stand up to the tough, toughest job site conditions. So every tool that gets manufactured, every tool, every new tool, every new innovation, if it won't stand up to the toughest job site conditions, it's not gonna be a Razorback because it's not gonna meet that standard for a professional. And then the True Tamper brand would be more of a consumer, homeowner, DIY brand. Also professionals will buy that as well, but it has a little different brand promise a little bit more geared towards home ownership and things like that uh, about the features for example with this shovel how would this shovel in itself differ as a razorback tool from one of the true temper sure. tools so there's a a gauge of steel that's used for every head so razorback is the thickest gauge steel of any shovel in this in this room you also notice that there's two rivets and these rivets go all the way through the through the blade to lock it into place when a shovel fails it's because the handle comes loose and then it breaks now aren't most shovels equipped only with one rivet either one rivet or even two nails Oh. It's just two nails, and that's when that handle will loosen up as you pry with it, and the handle will break. Okay, another feature. So lock it in. Got it. Also, you'll see grips on the end of this shovel. Yeah. So grips are very important for control, for comfort, for reducing fatigue so you can work longer with it. Ah, nice. Very nice. Now, this applies to just about every shovel, it huh? It does. If you look at what we call a digging shovel or a round point shovel, you'll notice some features that you won't see anywhere else in this room. We have an oversized step called the power step. Okay. And there are four cleats that are in the power step. So even with a boot full of mud, you'll be able to have the confidence to use all the way to your body to pogo stick onto the top of that shovel. And cool. As deep into the soil as you can. Cool. Very also cool. Also notice how long this socket is. Oh yeah. So this, so the steel is five inch longer than a traditional shovel. So you can drive more wood, more wood into the socket, still have those two rivets, and now you've got an even stronger shovel. Boy, that is something. And the rivet are quite a distance apart which I think would also add to the holding it, power yes it does okay it absolutely does now we were talking a little earlier about a single jack yes a four pound short handled sledgehammer that's correct and you were telling me that you have a very special way of holding the head onto a sludge hammer. We do. That's different than anyone else in the industry. Absolutely, we have it. Traditionally, heads have been epoxied onto a fiberglass handle. We now have a system that has a steel pin in it and it gets hydraulically driven and locks that system into place that pin bottoms out on the sides of the sledgehammer and it it will it will not come off so traditionally we, we've added about 30 percent more strength by doing this this system uh, traditionally a sledge could hold up to maybe 5,000 pounds our new system can go up to 8,000 pounds oh. Ames Tools, absolutely amazing. Jeff, thank you so very much for spending some time with us today. You're welcome.